I'm Enrique Rivas with Polyglass Technical Services, and welcome to another segment of the Polyglass Tech Tip video series. The focus of this video is going to be a field wrap on a penetration. There's two ways of doing this. You could do it with membrane or lead stack or even liquid flashing for that matter. But this, the focus of this one is going to be a field wrap of the membrane. The membrane we're going to be using is our Polyflex SAP, which is our APP self-adhered granulated cap sheet. To start off, you want to grab and cut a piece of membrane that is long enough that will extend beyond the pipe four inches and at least eight inches up the pipe according to local code. You also want to make sure that it wraps around the pipe sufficiently where it overlaps itself at least two inches because you'll be bonding this later with a heat gun. Once you know you've got enough material, you're going to want to cut your finger flashings, which are about one inch wide slits, the entire length of the wrap. You do that simply with a hook knife or even a stray blade, but if you're using a stray blade, make sure you don't damage the membrane below. It's really simple to do, just grab it, make sure you have a mark where you have four inches for the base of the flashing. Just go through all the way to the end of the membrane and you're cutting these finger flashings because they're relief cuts, they're, re they're necessary. It's the only way you're gonna get the membrane to wrap around the pipe. Once all the membrane is cut, it's gonna resemble something like this, where you have all these finger flashings from one end of the membrane to the other. Some guys refer to this as a, a hula skirt, um, but really all it is is it's just relief cuts so you can actually wrap around the pipe. And now would be a good time to verify that you've got enough going horizontally and vertically on the pipe. And also, when you get to where the membrane starts overlapping, you're gonna wanna cut off these three finger flashings because there's no need to have them on top of each other. I've also went ahead and pre-primed the plumbing stack with PG100 asphalt primer. It's available in a spray can and uh, five and one gallon pails. Either way is uh, sufficient. Just make sure that once you apply it, it needs to dry to a tacky feel. I'm going to start by taking off the release film in the back of the membrane and begin by putting the base of the flashing at the very end of the pipe and kind of just pressing it into place, wrapping it around the pipe. And you see the release, the release cut, the relief cuts are spreading out and I've got my overlap. And just press it into place. This is somewhat temporary because we're gonna have to heat weld it together for um, over granule conditions. And there's your finger flashings on the first piece. I'm gonna follow this later with a, with a target that covers the whole thing, but I'll show you that in a minute. The over granule condition needs to be bonded. How we bond it is using a hot air welder. You need to use either heat or adhesive for, for all SA products. I'm going to use a hot air welder. Uh, don't ever use an open flame. The open flame can burn off the SA compound, and that's just going to create another issue. So in this case, we're going to heat weld these laps and everywhere the finger flashings are over the granules. I'm going to use a Sievert air welder. You can use a Leister or whatever tool you prefer. It's as long as it's hot air, not an open flame. I'm going to start off by inserting the nozzle in between the SA compound and the granulated surface. Now remember, you're only activating the SA compound. You don't, you're not looking for a bleed out, you're not looking for excessive heat. It's just enough to wake up the compound and get it to activate when you're doing an over granulated surface. Just heat it up a little bit, break it up, press it in place. the whole length of the, of the penetration. And then roll it in place. With the plumbing stack seam bonded, now I'm gonna start doing the finger flashings that are on the deck as well.
Once the first piece of your finger flashings and pipe penetration is in place, you want to make sure that you've got a good contact and good bond with everything that's over granulated surface. You can start with your second piece, your target, that will fit over the plumbing penetration. You want this piece to extend beyond these finger flashings another four inches. So basically you're looking at eight inches from here to here to the center of the pipe. So the piece has already been cut. You made the hole for the plumbing, for the plumbing stack right in the middle. This is also has a release film, so you're gonna to wanna to take that off. Slide that over the pipe. Sit it in place. You're gonna to wanna to heat this as well because this is also an over granulated condition. Starting off towards the center of the pipe, work your way around. Again, you're not looking for a lot of heat. You're not looking for a flame or, or, or a bleed out. You're just doing enough to activate the compound, which is all you really need. It's just enough to activate it, which is uh, gonna create that bond on the over granulated surface. Go around the entire target, starting from the center, work your way out to the edges. the nozzle between the two surfaces, just work your way out from the center to the outside, to your leading edge. Heat and pressure is what's going to make an SA system work, and you need both to get it going. Now that the target is bonded to the base and the finger flashes are placed, everything is complete on this system with the exception of the very top. Here's where you're going to need a pipe clamp. The pipe clamp will secure the top of the membrane because well, over time, heat and gravity will eventually pull this down as it would on your wall flashings or any other sort of vertical surface. Pipe clamp, stainless steel, just so it doesn't rust. Bring it down a little bit, tighten it up. You don't want to make it too tight because you'll damage the membrane or even worse, you can damage the pipe. So you don't want to do those two things, but you do want to put enough pressure where it's snug and it's not going to fall. Now that the pipe clamp is secured, membrane is, is in place, I'm going to finish it off with using PG500 along the very top. And as an added precaution, I'm going to set it around the side of the, of the bottom of the base of the stack as well. I like to use the, the caulk gun. It's a little neater than a can. And especially if it's such a small detail, it's a convenient size. Instead of a five gallon pail, you don't have to lug up the roof. That completes this pipe penetration detail for our field wrap. The detail drawing is also available on our technical guide and on our website, which is polyglass.us. If you have any questions, you can email us at technical at polyglass.com. Thank you.